This is a video demonstrating the use of a Clabboy CB4 to lift Kingspan KS2000RW roof panels. And this particular configuration will be for panels up to 17 meters long. When the machine arrives on site, it will be packed into a transport cradle. And with this particular configuration, there are a lot of components in this cradle. So please take careful note of how it's packed away. Pay particular attention to the extendable cross pieces, which are in a small holster on the cradle. Depending on the configuration, some of the extension bars you need may well be on the undercarriage of the cradle. It's your responsibility to pack this machine away when you've finished with it, and when it's off iron, we'll arrange a carrier to collect the machine. So please pay careful attention to the packaging of the machine. Now Neil and Gabe are going to come into shot and we're going to start assembling this machine. It's best to assemble it in the cradle that it's delivered in. Yeah, we thought we'll start off by assembling the machine by putting an extension bar on the machine either side. When the extension bars are put on the machine for roof pan applications, the vacuum hoses need to be on the side of the extension bars, not on the top or bottom. It's best to two men assemble the machine and keep it balanced whilst you're assembling it. And as each extension bar goes in, you'll notice that they're held in position by a locking pin with an R clip to retain the pin in position. Make sure all the extension bars are locked in that way. If you need to use the extension bar from the bottom carriage of the cradle, and that's just locked into position, pull the R clip out, rotate the bar forward and slide the extension beam out. The kit that we deliver to site will contain all of the components that you need to lift the panels that you've notified us you're going to lift. Make sure you use all of the components supplied. If for some reason you can't use them, please contact the office to check with us. Unless you do that and you don't use the configuration we supply, then we're not authorizing any lifting. So right now we've got four extension bars at each side of the machine. In the plastic cases on the, on the cradle, there's a three leg chain and what we call two chain collars. Now the chain collars need to go on to the fourth extension bar. They just slide into position and again they're locked into place with the locking pin and the R clip. So this is definitely a two-man lift now to take the roof extension part. which needs to be slotted onto the final bar. And once again, pinned and locked into position. The machine will tilt until you get the other bar on to compensate on the other side.
Okay. So now the final part. These are the uh, cross arm extension pieces in their holster. Uh, we need to assemble these onto the roof cross arms. Yeah, you pull out a locking pin on the side, pressing the button on the end and slide it out. Slide the cross arm in and lock it back into position. I'll show you that in a moment with the other side. These cross arm extensions are in pairs. Uh, one has a safety strap on the end of it and the other has a locking pin to retain the safety strap. And the pin simply slides in, oh, wrong position, and locks back in. And the last thing is the safety strap uh, should be pointing downwards when you put the cross arm extension in, so hanging down in this way. So the suction pads uh, slide along the cross arms. There are locking screws um, to ease that, to help with that rather. And we're just roughly putting them where we think they're going to be. Um, but they need to land in the valleys of the KS2000 RW panel. So now we're connecting the vacuum hoses along the machine. All the hoses have quick release couplings. To, to connect them, you just click, put them together, press, and they'll click together. To release them, you squeeze together, pull the collar, and pull apart. So we just continue connecting the hoses all the way along the machine from the suction pads right to the machine. You notice the suction pads, close to the suction pads, there is an isolation valve and a TP connector. That's important, you may need to use that isolation valve, which is currently open and will be open when, you, when we deliver the machine. But in case of difficulty getting suction, sometimes we have to use that isolation valve. I will explain that to you later. It's a few minutes, takes maybe 10, 10 or 15 minutes to assemble this machine. Once it's assembled, there's no reason to take it apart uh, between lifts or at the end of a day. The best place to store the machine is in the cradle, locked into position uh, when not in use. The machine will uh, just sit in that position and in that position, the actual machine cabinet is fairly watertight. So this is the location where the need, machines need, need to be stored between, uh, between lifts or between working sessions rather. So the vinyl component you've got now is a three leg chain. This chain must be used. You know, do not attempt to use any of the chains supplied by a crane company. It has to be the chain that we supply, which is certifying the correct length uh, for this configuration. Now, we, uh, our overhead cranes don't go high enough for this application, so we're using a forklift just to suspend the machine. So, of the three legs, the short leg connects directly to the top of the club boy. And just take the crane up until that chain is fairly straight. And don't put any tension on the chain at this stage. And then the two other chains 
they connect to the collars on the extension arms. Obviously they're connecting it through so that the spring clip is on top. Like that. So we've now got the three legs straight to the crane, mid short leg in the middle, the two long legs down to the chain collars. Okay, at that stage, uh, we're ready to hoist the machine out of the cradle. Um, the machine's retained in the cradle with a locking pin. It's got an R clip on the back. If you pull the clip out, the pin will just slide out. Okay, the other thing I didn't show you on the video is that when the machine arrives, there'll be blanking plugs on all of the outlets. Just simply remove those blanking plugs when you connect the vacuum hoses.